welcome back everyone to Finnegan's Farm and welcome back to our YouTube channel. So first thing I want to say is happy Christmas to everyone. Um, we're going to do a tractor tour today so everyone's kind of been expecting this video so we said we released it on Christmas Day. Get everyone happy, Sandy's after coming, watch it on the new telly maybe, watch it on the Xbox, um, new tablet or whatever you're watching it on. We have Paul obviously and we have Kev Shannon. So Kev Shannon's from Mid Loud, um, he's a sales rep, he's obviously doing very well in our firm because he seems <laughs> to sell us everything to us. <laughs> and yes, yeah, so we'll just bring you through a tour of all our case edition um, Manitou's and Combine on this video and then on New Year's Day get ready for the John Deere one as well. So. So we start now with, as we call the baby Manitou, so it's the MLT 625, 75 horsepower. Eamon's in it at the minute, Eamon does a lot actually with this. Yeah. It's uh, it's handy right now, isn't it? Uh, yeah, tipping boxes or sweeping or... Yeah, sweeping is kind of the big one if anyone spills any muck or tractors coming in. Because it's always around here, it's only 30k. Yeah, it doesn't go anywhere. No Far as it be up in the cattle yard there, yeah. just doing bales up in the and cattle yard. But 200 metres up the road. Yeah, so, so as far as it goes. Yeah. Do you hold two sizes, Bills? She can, yeah. She can. No she can stack six metres high. Yeah. It's basically like just a bigger forklift, but better. Yeah. More yeah. comfort as well. Yeah. Yeah, you're in the cab. It's nice. You're inside. Nice mm -hmm. and heat. Eamon doesn't be happy enough there. You come down from Saturday, sweep the yard, tip it all the boxes, make sure everything's clean. Just work the tip right there. We'll show you how that works. So you put your spud box in, it catches the side, top and bottom, and then you can tilt it over and it won't fall out. So we use that good bit of the plant in there when you're tippling the seed potato into the box or into the planter and yeah, just emptying boxes around the yard. So, and then that's obviously your six meter boom. So the way you read them on the Manitou's is some people won't know, is your 625. So that's your six meters and two and a half ton lift. So she's, well, she lifts two spud boxes, they'd be two ton, but you wouldn't go any more than that. So we head across now to our bigger version of the Manitou's. Yeah, so this is your 737. You bought this new off me, pal. Um, yeah, yeah. It was probably the most popular one at the time, and it's probably the obvious one to go for. You have a 735 already, so it's the newer model of it. Yeah. Um, yeah, we were finding that with just with one teleporter, there's an awful lot of jobs on the farm that, you know, we wanted two teleporters. So it was either tractor and load or go for teleporter. Definitely the 735. This was the 737, which is the next model up from it. No real differ in it. What we did do is after. Um, we had ag tires on it, and after a year we changed them to the, the what do they call them, Kev? The multi-bibs. The, the multi-bibs, yeah. yeah. So they're, I mean, a, they're a half concrete tire, half yeah. field yeah. tire. They seem to be like, there's, what is it, about four and a half, there's only 5,000 hours in that thing, and you wouldn't even know the yeah. tires are gone. Yeah, so they're, they're wear very well. There's a lot of concrete. We work on a lot of concrete. While they're in, we have some jobs in the field too. Those are 735 with the ag spec tires. It can do those jobs. That was loading boxes initially there for, for potato boxes. And again, it's a very tidy machine, good visibility out of it. Um, it's not the Vario, it's just the ordinary just trans power shift, power yeah, power yeah, shift yeah, yeah. transmission. And loads of power, pick up hitch, well spec machine again, does all the jobs, has a sweeper on it here, but more more than capable of doing, you know, hand and grain and all that stuff. So it's a, it's a very, very good machine. Good yeah, machine. So yeah. Do you remember that I brought this into your pal as well with the little 625? I do. Yeah, on the same yeah. lorry. Yeah. I thought I might get one sale out of it, but... <laughs> yeah, so we done a bit, of a bit of a package deal on it. The 940 came on the Vario. Wasn't that sure about it, how it would work, the drive on it. A little yeah. bit. Takes a little bit of getting used to, I have to say. It does, but yeah. I mean, once you get used to it, you actually probably wouldn't go back to your, yeah. your other transmission. So it came with the Manitou, so we actually bought the, the small Manitou, and we bought the 940. So yeah, we're absolutely delighted with it. Again, the tires are nearly gone in here, and we would probably go with, go the, with the same ones go as with that. the same yeah, times. Yeah. And we have another 735, which is up in the cattle yard there as well. And it's um, it's a lovely machine as well. So we're more than happy with the, with the Manitou's. Again, the guys give us a great service, and they look after them there, and that's really all we want at the end of the day. This Perfect. is my baby during the spuds. Nine meter boom, four ton lift. Um, it wasn't my baby at the start, but I got used to it. <laughs> so again, yeah, so it's a, a Manitou MLT, so it's 940, so it's 9 meter, 4 tonne lift. She's 140 horsepower and it's the Vario Plus. Mm. So you have can vary right up to four, 40 kilometers an hour. Yeah, so she's um, very, very similar inside. Obviously, you don't have your gears here, yeah. so it's just your you Vario. Vario, yeah. You can actually set the speed. Yeah, you can set it up, oh, yeah. And it's set at, I think it was 15k, because you don't want to. I was kind of holding it for a moment, because I was only doing about two or three k in the air, flying around here and there. So you can see her turning on, and then 
So there's your speed, so you can set it, you can have it off, obviously when you're on the road, it'll max out at 40k, or you can turn it down to maybe 15, or whatever you're doing. Just, it's handier on it as well, so you're not, it doesn't want to fly off, it's kind of set. See, if you set it to 40 and you only get around the yard, it wants to get to 40, mm. so it'll fly off. So if you set it to 20k, it'll go a bit slower, because it knows only get, has to get to 20k. Exactly. Uh, You've two different modes, so you can put it in dynamic mode or comfort mode. Comfort's a lot smoother, yeah. dynamic's not. Um, dynamic I, I is more for dynamic yes, because you you want more aggressiveness. Yeah. you'd be flying around, yeah, filling the lorries bang, like bang. yeah, bang bang. Um, it's a good job. Same, similar to the seven three seven inside. Just the boom is a double boom. Yeah, and you that's, yeah, that's one thing you have less visibility with it because you have a ram on top. Yeah, cause yeah, because that's that the double boom. Yeah, um, but but when you get used to it again, yeah, it's, it's pluses and minuses them both. Yeah, um, this is the biggest um, agri length boom you can get the like you'll put straw up nine meters yeah. which is an awful height like um like your dad will be up cleaning the gutters sometime now yeah, soon with get the him up there, up there. <laughs> i might actually the, do it today now for the christmas, christmas yeah um no yeah huge benefit that mm -hmm. nine meter boom even uh, obviously just made, we have a grease there at the minute so very important ready to go for the new year yeah so moving on here from the teddy porters uh we're just gonna hop into the 175 just the, the smallest case tractor we have um Done a lot of spray and basically just done all just the spray. Spraying a bit of fertilizer. Yeah. So it's the it's the biggest of the short wheel base. So all the rest of the tractor you use have well from your 185 to your 2240s are uh, long wheel base. That's the the biggest model in the short wheel base. So your dad and Joe wanted a a shorter tractor with a bit of horsepower. Yeah, so yeah. I do it for spraying. Turning, yeah. yeah, yeah. So um, just yeah for be better turning. So and um, then it's the different colors. Well, yeah. So it's it's a special edition. So Case uh, celebrated 175 years of making tractors. So easy enough they brought out with well, the 175 on them on that. So uh, she's a Maserati color. There was only 175 of them made in the world. So it's it's a fairly special tractor. Um, so when your dad heard about that. He bought one, so that has all the bells and whistles, front linkage, PTO, full GPS. Uh, it even has the, oh, the end, sensor. end sensors from Topcon, which is they use for when they're spraying. So for anyone that doesn't know what the end sensors do, they basically just record your crop uh, to be detecting the chlorophyll level in the crop. So you're like it's kind of like the green pigment in it, and it'll bring up a map, say, on how well it's actually grown. So obviously your good spots will show up green, and then your weaker spots in the field, which you'll actually see mainly the headlands, kind of and close to tram lines, obviously where it's not planted. Um, it'll just be slightly orange, or it could even be in the red spot. There's actually nothing growing, so they're a good job even for us to. Yeah, and it's it's probably going down the route of um, saving on fertilizer, so you'd be putting less on your green spots and your badder spots, yeah, you'd be putting yeah, more on, and even spraying spread. more and less. Like, do you know what I mean? So. Uh, it's the way it's going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Saving stay, on all the fertilizers and the sprays. Know the price of fertilizer nowadays. It's just it's a tough one. We're here now in the tractor. Um, leather steering wheel, leather seat. The passenger seat isn't there, but there doesn't be anyone really when you're with the sprayer, man. Um, that's just a control for the sprayer. The sprayer and then the, the screen. So uh, Gavin from Welltech has put in the. He's taken the 700 out, so he's put the top con screen, and so these are all. All the sprayers and the spreaders are worked off this top con. So I think in the yard or in the office they put in a. It's all that, field yeah. maps and all yeah. that kind of stuff, and it's sent out to your screen. So, um, yeah, the sprayer man knows how, how to what, what to do. Yeah, yeah, what you need to do. So. And what's been sprayed and what hasn't been sprayed. So I think when he goes into the field, it's already drawn. It knows where the field is yeah. from GPS, and it knows the size of the field and all, and where to start and stop. So yeah, no, it's um, it cuts out all the. The ifs and buts, yeah, and the mess and so on. Um, yeah. And then it's sent back to the computer and then it's there, it's done. Yeah, so it's all for field records and stuff for, for board B and all the different. Yeah, keep everyone happy. So this Depends. is the CVX, so she's the yeah. Vario. So she's Vario, yeah, she's the, yeah, it's the full Vario. This is the, you can only get these 175s in Vario, so um, yeah, all you do is either you put your foot to the floor or you can push that up more. Yeah. You have three presets on the. Thing. I'll just switch this on. So you have three presets there. So 52. You can bring that down by bringing this scroller down. So you can just turn off that radio, um, or you can bring it up. So if you were in the field that and you're going down the middle of the field, maybe a 12k. We can set that at 12, and then that's grand. Then if you come to the headland, and you want to go a bit quicker. Or you want to go to 15. You can just bring that down to 15. Yeah, and then just press your buttons right. between the yeah. presets. So you can go up there, and all you do is plant the foot, push that. And bring that back and it'll stop. So um, it's very simple. You know yourself. Once you go to the Vario, you won't yeah, go back. It's no, 
Um, one thing we notice is a garage, like um, a lot of lads are worried about Vario that they could, dark if they a lot of hard drivers that they could bust them. But one thing about a Vario, you can only it's like an automatic car; yeah. it'll only go up the gears as quick as it can go. Whereas yeah. another car with you can gears, you'll go from first to third to fifth years. to sixth. Yeah, so it's um, it's a good job. Um, I know when your dad first bought a. A 210 office, it was power shift, the first case he had, and it was power shift, and uh, he was worried about this um, Vario just because it's more to go wrong or whatever, but when he first bought the 230, because he could only get that in mm. Vario, that was it, and yeah. all his tractors yeah, are Vario now, yeah, yeah, so it is it is a good job, like, yeah, it yeah. is a good job. So your right. front negative your PTO, your spools, and your, yeah. your joystick, so, yeah, So we're heading across now to that 185, that's the next tractor. So next up here we have the 185, it's kind of the all round around the farm, it doesn't really have a specific job. Yeah, it does all the kind of bits of running around, again, it's the smallest of the long wheel base. Yeah. So that's the difference between your 185, so you can see the two of them side by side, one, that's a lot longer than that, so it's, um, yeah, it's just more sturdier, so that was probably bought for, it was, first of all, the first year I did it was the planter, was it, pulling the four row yeah. planter. Um, then it kind of, what is it? Yeah, like it did a bit of bale and it probably does all the bit yeah, of... A bit of bale, yeah, because it's a light, lighter of the tractor. Run around, it did have, a bit so. of fertilizer. Actually, did the second sprayer the odd time, yeah, didn't it? Yeah, when we're stuck, we have the second land clip sprayer, so we put it on that. Yeah. Um, There's a lot of trailer work. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. During yeah, yeah. the spuds there, it was pulling the brahans with the 10 boxes on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So no it's, it it's a good well. line here. The biggest thing about that is if the 2240s and the 185s, you can swap all your wheels between them or yeah, everything's the same, the same so you can uh, swap everything around. That's one thing, one thing about it. So, um, yeah, it's a good yeah, job. We'll have a look at I know at Tom, and see. Tom's favourite tractor is the yeah, 185. It was, it was pulling the trail hours. Oh, jeez, we're all going around oh, here. Oh, the air conditioned the radio, So we are. Um, yeah, it, at the start, it drove the GT. Which is ideal the in the area, as you oh, said, the 175, like, uh, I you remember. can set your speed, and then the fella driving beside, you can tell him you're doing 2.5k, you're doing 3k, and he can literally set his speed as well, and then there's no messing of forward, back, or hitting boxes, or... Mm, it was a lovely job, because you were driving it as mm, well, and the yeah. trail harvest, and he did a bit, it's, it's, it's a lovely job. And the, only, the only reason we took it off was because we put the 240 on it, because it had the front, 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 PTO. front PTO for the chopper, chopper yeah. yeah. Because yeah, I year you went shopping ahead of the stocks no. when you had this, it wasn't too bad. Yeah. Um, so yeah, you have your 700 screen, that's the case screen. Then you have Gab screen down here at the top con for the sprayer or if they're working to fertilise the spreader isobus. Yeah. Um, so he can use either or. Um, the same, exact same, exact same, same thing, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's one thing about them, yeah, they're... Well, that's every the lad can drive yeah, that's one, the he can we drive see, the other, like, yeah. You happen to one. You nearly, if you're in a tractor, if someone puts you in a tractor, you wouldn't even nearly tell what. Yes, which, which one it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they're all the same, and that's what you wanted. Everything was the same. That's yeah, the only way you can get them. Yeah, different drivers. Like if you the Fent and the Massey, like someone won't be used to driving them. And yeah, at least yeah. They're all the same. She's handy. It, it's a good job. Yeah, you have all them have sunroofs, your sunshades. In fairness, when your dad specs a tractor, he does spec everything. So yeah. see, you're sitting in these yokes for sixteen and eighteen hours a day yeah. sometime, and you want to have you want to be comfy. creature comforts like. Uh, good seat. Good seat. I love spin. that spinning. Uh, yeah, so yeah. when you spin around, you can sit. It's especially when you're sitting back like yeah, that. It's holding your back. Yeah, yeah sit back and relax. Yeah. So then you can have the feet up. Oh, and that's you can Kev's job. Put the put the, the hand, hand trap, and you can just say change between your speeds if you are yeah, yeah, yeah. moving between boxes. It's a good job. Like. So this is Darren Hubble's baby. He has a uh, well kitted out front LED bar. He's lights inside everywhere. I don't know how he even sees half the time. Um, the aerials on it as well. So, yeah, she's on the flotation tile. Yeah, so it's the, it's the the older one of your two forties. Even your one than that as well. But um, that's Darren's sower tractor. Yeah, that's all. No one drives that other no, than Darren. No in fairness to him, he keeps it like an absolute peach. Yeah. So he does. Um, she needs a service. She'll get a service. Yeah, it. It's it's a lovely tractor. I think he's very happy with it. And when you yeah, see a sewing this year, it's, sewing, it's unbelievable. Like, you know, like, not compact, like, yeah. I know the bigger tractors obviously are going to weigh more, so she's nice compact, mm -hmm. um, doesn't compact the ground. And yeah, it's ideal for sewing. Yeah, it's a good size so tractor. So for that wheelbase of a tractor, it's putting out 269 horsepower. So for his four meter sewer, it's, yeah, oh look, don't get me wrong, the sewer can sicken it sometimes, but it's a good light outfit. It's a good yeah. match for it all. And no, he seems to go well with it. So he does sew it. Yeah, um, so we'll hop in now and we'll run through the tractor. So the first thing you notice is the little lights down there um, beside the seat. And then he also has case bar in the back. He's and then a little glowing. A poppy in it as well, and mm. it's great to see a guy that takes pride in his tractor and he's just cleaning stuff down here. Normally, have the hum of the window, I think, but yeah, uh, normally does, but yeah, uh, 
Yeah, I'd say um, he's getting it ready. He'll probably go on the sprayer now, will he? Yeah. With this, he'll put on the sprayer. That's um, all the screens are in it. Screen is changed, ready to go. Well, he'd have that normally in it for his sewer anyway, yeah. for GPS. Oh, and that, there's yeah. his, yeah, yeah. sorry. Um, and he's his airline. Yeah, it's just a blow out. That's blow a very handy job. That's a super job, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah super job. Keep the tractor clean. Yeah. As you can see, the floor now is fairly, well, it's spotless. obviously spotless at the minute now. Well, we we've dirty this. Yeah. <laughs> so don't tell him. Um, yeah, well, the difference is, Darren kind of just looks after the tractor. Yeah. The way our farm works, you kind of every lad has to get into a different tractor now and again. So mm. this is just Darren. Darren does this one, so she's just kept for Darren's going to do the spraying, a bit of spraying. So yeah, it's getting hooked up. So uh, yeah. it's a good way of keeping the tractor. The tractor is always spotless by him, in fairness. Mm. And uh, look, no one else drives it. it yeah. yeah, well, that's the biggest thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He don't tell Alan's let drive it, is he? Yeah, well, Alan actually would do a lot of the sewing up. Need Darren? Uh, Darren won't like to hear that. <laughs> no, definitely won't like to hear that. <laughs> But, but um, uh, I don't know. It's it's a credit to him. In fairness, he keeps it shocking well. Yeah. Um, on th on this particular tractor, and even the one eight five, the one seven five, you can't. But you can change all these buttons around to whatever you want to do. And the same with these. So uh, normally that's one, two, three, four of the spools. But if you had them mixed up around, you'd want to <laughs> change them. You can configure it to yeah, yeah, change yeah. it around whichever. You can put that as three and four and one and two, or you can change these to whatever you want. So it's it's a good job, like. Mm. Um, yeah, sure, we'll head up now. The Optum 300 is just put away in the shed, so we're just going to tip up there now and have a look at that one. Yeah. Right, so we're going to the. Also, has an air horn <laughs> if you didn't notice. So we're up here now with the Case 300, it's just sitting pretty in the shed. Didn't want to move it, it's nice and clean. Um, the lads spent a good bit of time washing it, so don't want to bring it down the mucky road. Um, so. Yep, she's yeah. the 300 Case Optum. It's the same as your two other styres that we see after. Mm. Um, the three of them are, are 300 horsepower. They're the same tractor, really, just different. They're all made in the same factory. Um, the Steyr is made for the German and Austrian market. The cases are made for the rest. Uh, the difference is, is the style, and obviously the bond's a bit different, the colour's a bit different, and the inside's a bit different, but mechanically, exact same. Mm. Control, exact same. But um, look at its preference. A lot of lads love the colour of the Steyrs. Yeah, the way And some lads the like these, the way they are. But um, yeah, they're, they both look very well. Um, this tractor is front linkage PTO, it's used for, it's mm. probably a general all-rounder tractor. It was doing a small bit of mowing before we bought the 240 mm. um, front and back mowers. Then it was doing an odd bit of ploughing, did a bit of rotovating. Yeah, it ridging a, bit, it a few couple of years, year yeah. Um, yeah, she was on the rotovate ridgers this year. Um, Chaser bin. Chaser bin, the odd time by the drawn. So that's the one thing about it, it's a, it's a good all-rounder tractor. You can put it on a trailer, drawn corn if you really had to, yeah. or you can go and put it on the seven for a plough if they're stuck or bitter. Yeah, she has swapping around. She has everything. She's front linkage PTO. She's seven ten zero bibs. She's on the the real good tires. Um, like with five thousand hours in that tractor, there's plenty of grips of left in yeah. them. So, just I the price them to change them now is going to be big money. So, um, we'll, we'll jump up in here inside and see. So she's the red leather seat, cooled and air uh, heated seat. Is the so when you're swung around on yeah. a long day, your seat is nice and. Passenger seat. Covering your uh, back, nice passenger seat, seat with things on it, yeah. Cup holders. Um, all your cases are the same. They have the multi controller joystick, same with your styres, mm. uh, your 700 screen. So it gives you all your, but you can change all this around. But the boys have this set up for your eyes bus, and then the next one probably is for your GPS. So the next one will show your, your map um, and the bigger one. So if your GPS, just press your button and no your GPS she goes. The up the field. Um, and these tracks for full spec, there's four speed PTO, there's two speed PTO in the front. So if you were mowing real light crops, you can put it into an eco box. Yeah. And it's easier on diesel. Um, that's really all, very simple to work, your AFS. LED lights. Le full LED light package on it, yeah, so she'll, she'll fairly light up the place, so she will. Sunroof in it for the summer days and then the two-way radios. Two-way radios and, and all the tractors, they're a great job for the boys to talk and there's... Yeah. No messing around, they probably heard in all the videos with the harvesting of the combines mm. and the spuds, it's super, super Even the job. Have been, oh yeah, I'm, I'm nearly full. Uh, yeah, yeah, come to me here. first or whatever, yeah. and there are two combines, so they are probably the best thing that was ever put in a tractor, like, mm. takes all the doubt out of anything, or even if a lad wants to and ask a question. The phone call just takes that bit longer. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Ring lads all or if a lad is getting stuck to go out a different way or whatever, yeah, but yeah, yeah. super job. Um, yeah, should so we go look at the styres? Yeah. Go look at the styres now. So, we came back from the Optum and we're here with the Steyr. It's obviously not the cleanest, she's at the sprouts at the minute, so the way we work with the sprouts is we leave that tractor in the field and it goes, gets the sprouts, brings it up to the gate, and then another tractor comes and we unload onto the trailer so that there's no muck out in the road because yeah. it 
can be dangerous this time of year. Yeah, yeah and look, you see, like this year hasn't been that bad, but you can see the, the dirt of the tractor yeah. when it's coming up 10 times a day or whatever up the field and slop. But um, yeah, that's your that's your newer one. You have an older one than that, but it's off with the chaser. Yeah, it's over parked away. You won't get to see that, but yeah, they it's may see very similar. Well, yeah, the tire is the only difference, yeah. And leather seat. Oh, leather seat as well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, the very the same, yeah. same. Same as your Optima as we looked already, just different colour. Look at and that's a lovely looking tractor. This one has wheel weights as well. Oh yeah. Just for traction. Well, you were using that for region. So you wanted to keep it straight. Uh, it does a ripping as well. Does a bit of ripping and yeah, and actually did a bit of ploughing. Yeah. Small bit yeah. So it, it was at ever look. They're an all around our tractor yeah, like that's. Like as well, yeah, kind of. but um, it's just a bit of a different bonnet, different yeah. lights, different colour, but colour it does place. look very well. Yeah. When it washes, it washes yeah, up power yeah, well. Yeah. It looks very well. So um, we can have a look inside. Yeah, it. Same, same yeah, thing. Yeah. yeah. As I was saying, the only. Real difference is the colour kind of inside is a bit mm. bit different. Um, everything else the same. This, the seat, yeah, it's that's a nice job, I think. Yeah. The style written on it, like, um, yeah, again, it's a heated seat, let's say, and cloth seat, but it's, it's a nice job. It's, yeah. You don't mind spending a couple you hours in this job, so you don't. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Would. It's, it's a nice job. Radio, your two way radios again, mm -hmm. super job. Um, that's really all. They're, they're the same. Lovely tractor. These would be worth money soon. Mm. So <laughs> Your dad knew exactly what he was doing buying these, so yeah, um, yeah they're they're. No, I think I, they're I'd be very happy with the uh, style. Like, uh, like the obviously the options the same, but I like the color and the difference. Like everyone's looking, like even going down the road, people are looking like, what yeah. is that joke? What kind of tractor is that? Yeah, looking at it. Yeah, like there's, I think there's only maybe five of these in Ireland. These, these size, you have two of them. Yeah, 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 yeah. like all the buttons. There's a few in this, but it's not. No, it's not. It's, com it's not complicated. Well, the like, even there, the the. The screen of the tractor, so obviously your outline of the tractor, and then obviously yep. your back PTO is there, your diff, so yep. it's kind of laid out. Four wheel drive, where, yeah. Your reversing the fan, track. your you can set your revs. Mm. Your reversing fan, I, I was using that with the mowing. Yeah. You see the grass build up in front, just blow it out. And the same with the yeah, or the potato harvester or the chopper. Mm. It's great for blowing. Yeah, or even harvest. Beside the on the chaser, Beside the combines or the dust, yeah, 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 blow yeah, yeah. it out. It's, it's a real shell. good job, especially with that. So it is. It's a, it's a good job. And um, four speed PTO. Yeah. So it's. Yeah. But yeah. I know. I remember you being on about. Did you like the styling of them? And could you, could we get one? We couldn't really. But Cormac, yeah. my boss, yeah, yeah, pulled it out of the, the bag, as they say, and yeah, well, that's that how you got the, one. And then the second one came along. Yeah, there was a styler on the farm here a number of years ago. We found them out to be very reliable tractor. The Dostrian built tractor. Yeah, they were probably yeah. the top or spec of of yeah. in the KS factory. We got that one there, the, the terrace there, and to be honest, it's I don't know, it's just a lovely tractor to drive. A good all rounder. Yeah, and it's very still very tidy. Like while it's 300 horsepower there, you know, you think that's a big tractor in relative terms, but it's still very tidy. I mean, it's been over in the sprout field there, you know, with the dirt of it there, been in the trailer on the Brahan trailer, and it handles itself very well. Great in the spud field, great for pulling out trailers or anything like that. Again, it can do plough. It it's a multi. Uh, multi function function tractor. Function tractor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. While it's big and horsepower, it's not very heavy in weight. And that's that one is on, I don't know, the other one is on 900s, that one is on 710s, I think, yeah. that one as well. So that's the way the two tractors come in. So, yeah, that's the range of tractors here we have on the farm. Again, the case have been very reliable now. We probably will look at maybe getting some of the newer ones yep. as we go along there. There's, there's uh, new types are coming out new there. New type Puma, yeah, Puma and then there's new type out. Optum coming out as well. Yeah, so. they probably do need, to be honest, they probably do need a little bit of re restyling in the cab. It's it's a little bit dated, I find, because you're looking at the same thing. But having said that, it yeah. still works, and every, all the functions still work very well. But, I mean, to keep up with probably the competitors, they yeah. probably need to get the cab. The new Optum is coming with a completely new cab. I think it's like... 30% bigger inside, yeah. the whole new joystick armrest, and it's still the same kind of yeah. layout, as you say, you, you could jump between each tractor there and you could drive them because they're no yeah. different really, but uh, the newer ones would be a nicer job yeah, with well, the joystick. We, we find that probably, you know, cab comforts for drivers now, cabs are getting a little bit bigger, we see them there on the Massey tractors, on the, they come with a bigger cab, and it's all about, about driver comfort now, yeah. because again, that they're spending long hours in the cab, and they need to have all the functions there, so yeah, that's really it, like apart from that, Case tractors are super tractor. Super tractor. Yeah. Like, there's nothing wrong with them. Last but not least, we're going to head up to the combine now. That's that's the big one. She's the um, baby. Yeah. So she's above. So last but not least, we're just going to talk about the case combine that we brought this year. Um, I was actually driving for a bit. It's a very it's a lovely combine. Yeah. Very, lovely very to have nice. come in. Um, <coughs> the tractor, yes. some job like because yes. we we would be used to, as you can see, the class behind us there with the, just the front wheels. So. Front tracks are a great job, even crossing the tram lines. I need a spray run, she's yeah, smooth. Like. Tracks are, are great in the field, but uh, one thing your dad was worried about with that was 
going to rip up on the, the no on the road as well that it'd be very bouncy oh, yeah, yeah. but it has suspended tracks and i think your yeah. dad agreed like it was very 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 smooth um yeah that'd be probably our most common size is 7240 and that's the first one we ever brought in on tracks that's actually a special enough one because it's on tracks it's four-wheel drive and has the ready cop chopper which is yeah everything's going down the road of chopping now and trying to save fertilizer and stuff yeah, incorporate yeah, it so it pulverizes the stuff um it's a well spec combine now but i think it went well very well for you this year yeah, we only brought it in on demo and then we took it for another week and then we took <laughs> and it for another week and then you kept it, and then kept it. <laughs> so um yeah no it's good very very good combine um yeah, well, i've been to the cab here now and we'll show you the interior of it as well so we're in the cab here now um if you watched our 200 acres in what one what was it 200 acres in one day yeah if you watch that youtube video uh you'll see this combine in it um we had three companies going that day until about four o'clock in the morning, so it's a good shift point, in, but we got it done. So basically, simple enough, it's kind of like every other, well not every other combine. But it's a very simple combine, because there's only a single rotor up it, in the, in yeah, the thing, yeah, so yeah. Uh, very simple, very simple set. So you have, obviously here you have your, for turning on your rape knife, on and off, so you have a single and a double. And um, this is your reverse or header if you ever blocked it. And um, you can put an auto feed, so the quicker you go and slower go, it'll slow and speed up your auger. And um, this is your cutting height settings, so you have a one and two setting, and you can up and down a bit. So you can press your button once, and it'll go down to the set height, and press it once again, it'll come up to its next height. Uh, or you can manually do it and then tilt. Rotaries work best when the rotor's full, so you constantly have to keep it up at around 90% engine mm. load. So the more you have going through it, the more it's going to rub against each mm -hmm. other, and the easier it is going to be on straw. Exactly. Uh, so rotaries are harder on straw. Um, now, the way it's going, they're actually getting an awful lot better year by year, but output is... Uh, like outrage, is like ma majorly different. like um i think most of the time your dad or even you or the odd time i was driving it we were up in maybe five or five and a half kilometers the walker combines are probably sitting between three and three and yeah. a half like so you're you're covering an um, awful lot more ground yeah like and one thing about them if you get stuck behind a, a walker combine you're yeah, waiting until yeah, they get yeah, to the end yeah, of the field but point. don't get me wrong walkers are they very really easy on straw yeah 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 roll straw, but so but the way things are going for you is, is we're doing an awful lot of, like this year i think he's about four or five hundred acres of uh of rape and then you've your beans and the, you do a good bit of mushroom compost straw so yeah. well, straw we, is we maybe get through the stuff yeah more exactly than. yeah so like you're nearly hitting maybe a thousand acres half your corn. you're talking your oilseed rape your beans and then you've probably a couple hundred acres of wheat straw that's going straight for mushroom compost yeah. and it, it it can allow for a bit higher moisture so yeah, this machine is able to go bail yeah. it straight away after so this is where this machine so straight away you're getting half like it used to be years ago for joe and your dad that a uh, straw was a major thing yeah. which it is but you're chopping your your oilseed rape you're chopping your beans and then the way this year has gone for rules with the department and all you have to chop a certain amount of yeah, corn exactly, yeah. so user chop maybe 200 acres of, of oats let's say this year mm. so um that's where this coming is starting to to win like yeah yeah and no, even the mushroom compost like it's such a benefit to us like you, you're not waiting you're not going out trying to dry it it's just bailed no straight bailed after. straight after the coming like this year i know it was a particularly really good year everything went really well for getting straw in mm. and there was very little turning of straw and stuff but um yeah like it makes an awful difference clearing fields quickly and getting yeah. back in with your yeah get the bales off it and yeah get ready for climbing get ready for thanks going thanks very again, much yeah. everyone for watching hope you enjoyed today's video uh hope santa came to everyone and uh santa actually is coming to us on new year's day so there's a big tractor reveal we bought a brand new tractor and as you would have seen in the workshop wednesday new john deere tractor coming on new year's so stay tuned for new year's day so from everyone here at finnegan's farm Happy Christmas, and we'll see you all in the next video. Happy Christmas! Happy Christmas.